Today we're talking cucumbers. Wanted to show you how we're actually growing cucumbers. I don't have the space in my backyard to uh, have them grow everywhere as a vine. So what I've done is actually put them in this uh, two foot by 10 foot raised bed. And then I have boards going straight up and put a hog fence on it. So they actually grow vertically up. They grow from the raised bed down from the bottom there and go straight up about four to five feet tall. Uh, I get flowering on both sides. You can get to it through that area on the other side. So they grow up nicely. Uh, we've pulled a couple of different uh, pickings of these. Got more flowers, more growing, but let me show you what I do with these cucumbers. Well, this is this morning's haul of uh, cucumbers off of our plant. It's, uh, it wasn't bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. A total of 15 of them. I guess I'll uh, be uh, uh, fermenting uh, some more pickles uh, later on this afternoon. So what do you do when you, make, when you have that many uh, cucumbers growing? You make pickles. Uh, this here was the batch of yesterday's uh, cucumbers that we actually uh, picked. Uh, what I did is I mixed uh, a gallon of water and put probably a cup, cup and a half of vinegar into it. And what I'm going to do is add salt to it. I'll add uh, oh, 12 tablespoons of salt to it to make a brine. And then we'll throw these in jars and uh, start pickling these things or actually fermenting these uh, pickles. I save half gallon pickle jars. Uh, I get them from neighbors or friends who use these things and they usually just throw them off. So I get them, clean them, and then we pack pickles or put candy or whatever else into them. They're great storage jars. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of dill seed to this. Uh, you can add fresh dill to it or dill seed. I sprinkle some on the bottom. Add a little garlic. It's just pre-cut garlic. Give it a little flavoring. Cut up an onion to put into it. These here, I'll just do a half onion. Slice it up, throw it in the bottom. You can add other spices, pepper, hot sauce. Once is everything's in there. And you just start lining your cucumbers up. These were washed and put in the refrigerator yesterday. I will stack these bad boys up in my jar. So often you need to find which ones will actually fit. Get some of the smaller ones out. Once you have your pickles in, you can slice them, dice them, put them together. Once that's all set up, take my brine, fill the 
jar full. Make sure your pickles stay submersed. So what you do, you put some kind of edible leaves over here. What I do is I go pick uh, oh, our grape leaves and do a layer of grape leaves on here so it fills this up. And I will put the lid on it and then it'll be set up. So I went out and got some fresh grape leaves. I wash them off and then basically you make some kind of a plug where you're pushing it down into it to keep the brine above your pickles. Uh, your pickles will actually soften up and then it will start to float. So you want to keep them in the solution. I use a filtered water because what you want to do is you don't want chlorine from your tap coming in here. Here's a jar. That's one fill. This one here has been fermenting for a little bit. You can see how the pickles have been dark in color. You need to open these if you're going to seal them tight every so often to let the air pressure out. So we have four or five jars, but you'll start seeing them get darkened in color. And then they're going, they'll go from this dark green to this dark brown of a pickling. And then they're usually ready. It takes about, they say three to five days. These have been done for a week. We pulled one out yesterday, tried it. It tasted pretty good. We're gonna leave them in here for a little bit longer. But you can do whole pickles. Or we have a jar here of sliced pickles. I pop these up so it releases the air pressure every time. So we just put them at room temperature in the jar or in the cabinet and they will ferment for a while and then you have pickles. Uh, I might take these once they're done fermenting, uh, put them in a jar, water bath them so I can seal them and put them on the shelf. But they should keep for this way here, pickling them. If you keep them in a cool area sealed and in the brine, they should stay preserved for about a year but I check with a ball book uh, to make sure your preserving is right. But this here's what you do with all the cucumbers from the vine to a jar to pickling. So you have pickles for the summer when you don't have uh, uh, cucumbers growing on the vine.